Okay, you guys, the mama bear is about to be unleashed. Crazies, Regan from Horse Crazy Mama here. If you are on the path to getting your very first horse, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get tips, tricks, how to's, skits, and all other kinds of stuff that is dedicated towards you and your journey. Okay, I've been seeing some comments and I've been seeing some debate, and maybe I'm late to the conversation. I don't know. But you know what? I thought that I'd put in my two cents. Helmets, you guys. Helmets. And yeah, yeah, I know, I'm probably gonna get the whole shebang about, oh, you're a mom. Of course you're pro helmets. Of course you're going to tell us to wear our helmet. You're just paranoid. Yeah, no. Look, I am a mom, and I can see things from that point of view, but you guys, come on. Everybody is entitled to do what they want to do. You're going to make your choices regardless of what I say, so don't worry about it. If your opinion disagrees with mine, then fine, it's okay. But honestly, I'm going to be the bridge between your mom and you. Or if it's not your mom, then your trainer and you, or whoever the heck cares about your helmet wearing and you. <laughs> now before you get all, oh, I'm going to click out of this video, I have a story to tell. It's easy to kind of brush these off and be like, oh yeah, that can't happen to me. No. I don't think so. My horse is way too trustworthy. My horse is completely bomb-proof. I don't need to wear a helmet. Well, that, that might be true, but is your horse the most graceful creature on planet Earth? I think we equestrians can probably testify more than others that horses can be pretty dang clumsy. Jeez, I wish I had a montage right now. And that's not counting for mere accidents. Maybe somebody else's horse isn't as graceful as your horse, or maybe somebody else's horse is spooky, and you happen to be riding with them on the trail or in the arena or wherever the heck you're riding, and they run into you, or they spook and causes your horse to spook. I don't know what the situation, it can be completely fluke, but one of these days, you're probably going to fall off. I'm just saying, knock on wood. I hope none of you do because it's less than fun, but it happens. It didn't happen to me. I did fall off like a lot. However, nothing was scarier than actually what happened to my husband. Now my husband doesn't ride horses very often. However, he does like to bike ride. Okay, this isn't even a motorcycle, you guys. This is a bicycle. You know how short bicycles are? Some Shetland ponies I've seen bigger than that. He fell off of his bike during one of his runs. And guess what, you guys? Do you see this? This is a bicycle. This is a machine made by man to ride and to pedal and to go across difficult terrain. My husband was in complete control of this bicycle, but he's human and he didn't see something that caused him to fall down and smack his head and take this giant chunk. Look at this. You see that giant chunk? a giant chunk out of his helmet and get a concussion. Look, we lucked out big time that the concussion was extremely minor. He only doesn't remember falling. He doesn't remember falling. That's the extent. I'm grateful that that's all that happened. That's it. And he was able to get back to work the next day. Can you imagine? Just, just imagine with me here. He is a father of two, the love of my life. If he had not worn his helmet that day, and fallen and smacked his head on that stump, he would have forgotten a lot more than just that fall or worse. And sure, I can I can be selfish and just be like, oh, it's just because he has a rough, lot of responsibility and he provides for our family, etc., etc. No, I love him to pieces. And I know that his mother was worried sick because I was in the car when she found out that he had a concussion. And look, maybe you don't think that your parents care. Maybe you don't think that anyone cares. I'm here to prove you wrong because I care. A lot. I've met none of you, but I care deeply about your safety and your welfare. I care deeply because I know that you're the future of equestrianism. You guys have the amazing opportunity to push this sport to greater heights. I've seen how much you care for those animals. I've seen the voices that you share. And you guys have the power to take the abuse that's in the sport and totally and completely get rid of it. Do you really wanna waste that just because you didn't feel like wearing your helmet that day? Taking from a mother's perspective, I insist that my children wear helmets when they're horseback riding. Now, granted, they are six and four, and I'm not perfect. You don't have somebody right there two inches away from you in case you fall. 
It's just you and your horse. Another story is for my mother-in-law. She was a mother of three very young children and she decided she wanted to go horseback riding in the arena. So she let her children play outside. She allowed them to, you know, in an area that she could supervise while she rode. And her horse spooked and bucked her off. And she fell and she smacked her head and she completely knocked out. She doesn't know how long she was out for. The neighbor ran over to come check on her and wake her up. It could have been a lot worse. But a mother laying unconscious on the ground with her children playing outside, not good. Now, again, it is your decision. What you do in your free time is your right to privacy. And I am not going to yell at you, even though I seem very, very passionate on the camera. I'm not going to yell at you, I'm not going to get after you, I'm not your mother. But I know that someone is. And I know that someone cares very deeply about your safety. And I know that someone loves you to the moon and back. And I know that someone would be utterly devastated were you to get seriously harmed because you didn't wear a helmet. Now, I don't have the statistics. I didn't study this, honestly. I just see it as common sense. And I'm a paranoid mommy. But I do urge you to check out Shelby Dennis's video on the helmet debate. I'll put the link in the description below to get more solid facts and statistics on helmet injuries and, and on traumatic brain injuries. You guys stay safe. If you found this helpful or inspirational, I know I can't change a lot of people's minds and that's okay. You guys will do what you'll do. But I wanted to give my two cents on the matter and I wanted to show you that there are people who care about you out there. Subscribed or not subscribed, you guys are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell and give it a big thumbs up so I know that you loved it. Keep the crazy and horse crazy, y'all. See you next time.